Oh, it's a beautiful day to check the mail. The sun is bright. I won Rotner Fresh, and that's the most important thing, my friends. Come on, camera guy. Come follow me. Let's go check the mail. All right, time to open the mail. Oh my god. Is this my word? <laughs> Let's, it must be. Let's check this out. What's up everyone? Zach the Deadpool Pope here and I got a special thing here. A different type of unboxing. And honestly, a one rotten or fresh. I told Ryan and Cody I wanted something and must be right in here. So let's get to it. Let's get it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh. My. God. This is the best thing in the whole world. Holy crap. Let's get a look at this thing. Let's get the styrofoam off it. Holy crap. Hands down, I think this is the coolest thing I have ever fucking seen in my whole life. Look at this. Ding. It's amazing. I'm not even joking. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Thank you to Ryan and Cody for this. I, I gladly accept this Rotner Fresh 2017 Season 1 winner, Zach Pope. This is beautiful. I love it. I'm going to put it in my background because I have to. I think I'm more proud of this than any of my track and field stuff. But overall, I love it. Guys, I, guess, I hope you guys are excited for season two because it's here. Ryan, you guys are great. Let's keep supporting this show. Rot Rotten or Fresh season two. The beauty. Now. What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again for Season 2, Episode 1 of Rotten or Fresh. That is right, Season 2 is finally here. Thank goodness. First off, I must say a huge thank you to all of you guys for the love and support you have given on Season 1 of Rotten or Fresh. Season 1 was absolutely phenomenal, and it's because of you guys that's why Rotner Fresh has become so successful. If you missed out on that amazing championship match, just to run down quick, you all know who came out on top. It was an intense match, but Zack the Deadpool Pope was the Season 1 champion. He won with 28 points. He absolutely crushed it in the championship match. So I just got to say quickly, a huge shout out and congratulations to Zach Pope. He absolutely crushed it. Congrats on your win, man. Hopefully you enjoyed that tomato trophy. I think it's amazing. Season two is going to be very interesting. We have four new competitors right here for you guys who are ready to compete. They've been wanting to compete since season one, and I'm just happy to have all of them here. So without further ado... Let's introduce the four new contestants. First up is a small YouTuber that I really do appreciate. He is an underdog on here that should get a lot more love, and I want to welcome him on. It's Amari Points. Amari, welcome to the show. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? It's good to see everyone, and thank you for inviting me, Ryan. Awesome, Amari. Welcome to the show, man. Up next is another YouTuber that I really like as well. He's very unknown as well, but he has a fantastic YouTube channel. It's John from The Real Talk. John, welcome to the show. Hey, what's going on, guys? John here from The Real Talk. Thank you, uh, Ryan and Cody, for having me on. I'm so excited. And uh, yeah, let's get this uh, bloodbath on the way. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm interested to see that. And up next is a guy who's been a huge supporter of the show from the start. And not only has this guy been commenting, but he's been doing play-alongs to the show. And I've been very interested to get him to compete for Season 2. You all know who it is. It's Mike from Married Movie Reviews. Mike, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me on, Ryan. I'm glad I finally bugged you enough to get me on here. 
And this is no play along this time. I'm actually in the show. I'm so excited to be part of this. And I did my studying this time, so I'm ready to go. Finally. Uh, <laughs> all right. And the last competitor we have here, you may not know who he is, but you really should. He's a great guy, and he loves movies as well. It's Russell Howell from Howell's Hollywood Reviews. Russell, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me on, guys. Uh, really looking forward to competing in Rotten, Rotten Fresh, and uh, just hope uh, everybody's ready to rock and roll. So let's, let's do it. Season 2, guys, is full of brand new things. Speaking of that, let's talk about the categories. We have replaced two categories for season two war movies and crime movies are out of the category list we have two new categories and they are westerns and romantic comedies that's right two new categories i'm ready to go these guys are ready to go let's play rotten or fresh round one works as follows the free-for-all round each of you, you're going to get 10 movies from 10 out of the 12 movie categories in round one. Your goal is to guess the Rotten Tomato score for what specific movie. If a contestant is able to guess the exact Rotten Tomato score of that film, they're going to get two points. If you don't, the person who's closest to the score without going over gets one point. You all have 20 seconds to write your answers for this round, and after you've written your answer, once I call your name, please show your answers to your cameras and say what you have written down. Alright guys, your first question in round one is one of our new categories, Westerns. And your movie is Django Unchained, directed by Quentin Tarantino, starring Jamie Foxx and Christoph Waltz. You know what, guys? I'm just going to say this. I think this is my favorite Tarantino movie. I absolutely love really? this movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love Pulp Fiction. I think that's five, my favorite. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, Amari, what do you have? Uh, I got 72%, if you, can, if you guys can see. I got 72. 72. John, what do you have? I got 87%. Mike, what do you have? I also have 87%. Russell, what do you have? 89%. All right. It seems like some people studied Westerns because we're already starting off. Two perfect scores, yeah. John and Mike. 87%. <laughs> Two points Damn. to both of you guys. Damn. All right, guys, your next category is another new category. Romantic comedies is your next category. And your movie is oh, okay. The Ugly Truth. Came out in 2009, directed by Robert Luckatick, starring Katherine Heigl and Gerard Butler. Eesh. This one could not have been good. <laughs> Katherine Heigl, man. I didn't even see Unforgettable, and I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Same here, man. It was definitely... It, it was Five, forgettable. Four, three, two, one, stop. All right, John, what do you have? I put 17%, which probably should have gone lower. <laughs> you said 17? Yes. John, you said 17? Yeah, 17%. Okay. Mike, what do you have? Uh, I have 52%. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 I'm a little too, a little too Russell, what do you have? <laughs> uh, I'm being generous on this one. I'm hoping 23%. Amari, what do you have? I got the same. 17%. Ooh. 17. Ooh. Wow. All right. So, the thingy here is, all four of you have gone over the actual score. Wow. It is 13. Oh. 13 wow, percent. Wow. Damn so it. no one gets I points. I knew it. <laughs> wow. Well, it's Man. Catherine Heigl. Well, he all right, fits. guys, he your next... Down. Never mind. All right, guys, your next category is one of our special categories, Oliver Stone directed movies. Whoa. Oliver Stone, your movie Dude. is... 
Your movie is W. W. Came out in 2008. Right. <laughs> starring Josh... <laughs> starring Josh Brolin, Thanos. And Cable. Oh and Cable, yes. Thank you. Oh my god, this is going to be so hard. Five, Man. four, three, two, one, stop. All right, Mike, what do you have? I have 59%. <laughs> Russell, what do you have? 56%. Oh, shoot. Amari, what do you have? 60%. I got 60%. Sorry, what did you say? 60%. 60%. 60. I got 60. All right. John, what do you have? I also have uh, 59%. All right. Now, here's the thing. Somebody got what's called Jay Vadered, and two people again. It's the same two people. John and Mike <laughs> got the exact scores. 59%. And sorry, Amari, but you got Jay Vadered. One goddamn percent. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Your next category is sports movies, and your movie is The Bad News Bears, the new one, two thousand five, directed by Richard Linklater, starring Billy Bob Thornton. I did not see this movie. <laughs> not see it. Yeah. There's two. There's two movies. There's an old yeah. one and a new one. I enjoy those movies. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, Russell, what do you have? I might be generous on this one. 32%. Amari, what do you have? Uh, I guess, my guess is 75. My guess is 75. John, what do you have? I put uh, 53%. Mike, what do you have? I have 31%. Oh, boy, I better not be 31% because I'm exactly over. All right. <clears throat> All right. And the person who was closest to the score was Russell. No. You were the closest. Oh. It was no. 48%. Right. 48. So, Russell, you get one point. We'll take it. All right, your next category is our final special category, Will Ferrell movies. Will Ferrell. <laughs> your movie is Step Brothers, 2008, directed by Adam McKay, starring Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. Will Ferrell, man. I just wanted him to be in a great movie. What did the L5, 4... Three, two, one, stop. All right, Amari, what do you have? 54%. John, what do you have? 54%. Mike, what do you have? 54%. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Russell. I'm hoping they're off, 38%. All right, so one person said 38%. The tricky part is, uh, yeah, all three of those guys are right. It is 54%. <laughs> so two points to Ambari, John, and Mike. Two points. Step Brothers. Definitely. All right, guys, your next category is Action Adventure. And your movie is The Fugitive. 1993, directed by Ooh. Andrew Davis, starring Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones. Wait, which movie? It's The Fugitive. Oh, oh yeah, man. I'm, a I'm Harrison Ford. Uh, I just <laughs> make money now. Chewie, we're home. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, stop. All right, John, what do you have? Um, I put 70%. Mike, what do you have? I have 87%. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Russell. 81%? Oh. 
Yeesh. <laughs> Amari. Uh, eighty-seven percent. Eighty-seven. All right, and the person who was closest to the score, well, guess what, guys? Two people had the same exact score, and we're going to get both of those guys' points. Amari and Mike, the correct score is 96%. Wow. So one point to Amari and Mike. Wow. I didn't Very nice that job. No. All right, guys, your next category is horror movies. Horror. Oh, God. And your movie is... Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, 1991, directed by Rachel Talala, starring Robert, <laughs> starring Robert Unglin. Oh, man. Co Cody Leach's video on this was absolutely hilarious. <coughs> Five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, Mike, what do you got? I have 9%. <laughs> Russell. A little bit higher, I went 30. Amari, what do you got? 20. John, what do you have? 17%? 17. All right. Somebody got the exact score, and it's Amari. Got the exact score, twenty percent. Two points to Amari. All right. So All right, guys. Your next category is what you're here for: comic book movies. <laughs> and your movie is Avengers: Age of Ultron, directed oh, by Joss no Whedon, starring everybody. We were just talking about some movie, Infinity War. What mm -hmm. up? <laughs> <laughs> this was the last movie I looked up before coming Five, to the show. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, stop. Russell, what do you have? 83%. Amari, what do you got? 75%. <laughs> Sorry if he was a little close to the camera. John, what do you have? I knew I got the wrong one, but 72. Damn. And Mike. 75%. Damn it. And two people got the exact score, Mike and Amari. 75%. Yes. Two points oh, to both right. of you guys. All right, your next category is animated movies. And your movie is Tangled, 2010. Directed by Nathan Greno, Byron Howard, starring Mandy Moore and Zachary Levi. I love that movie. That movie was the best. Yeah, she has <laughs> long hair. <laughs> Rapunzel. Yeah. And Rapunzel knows how to kick butt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Five, yeah, well, that's right. four, cuts it off. three, two... One and stop. Amari, what do you have? Eighty-nine percent. I have eighty-nine percent. If you guys can see. <laughs> John, what do you have? Um, eighty-four percent. Mike, what do you have? I wrote it like a kindergartner, but ninety-three percent. Russell. Ninety-one percent. All right, and somebody has the exact score once again, and he's a detonator. It's Amari points. 89%. Oh, nice. Two Dr. points Dave to Michigan. Amari. Amari kicking some ass. All right, guys, <laughs> and your final category in round one is sci-fi movies. And your movie is, sorry if I mispronounce it, but Solaris. Solaris. Solaris, yeah. Solaris, 2002. The remake? Damn it. The remake, okay. The remake, yeah. Directed by <laughs> Steven Soderbergh, starring George Clooney. Yeah, the remake. Um... Steven Soderbergh, he's back from retirement. Logan Lucky was alright, I enjoyed it. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, John, what do you have? 
Not sure if you can see it, my marker's running out, but it's 72%? No, I can't see it, but I believe it. <laughs> All right, Mike, what do you have? I have 77%. Russell, what do you have? 38%. And Amari? 53%. I don't know if it's right or not. You repeat, Amari, I didn't hear you. I said 53, 53%. These 53. Oh, 53, no. It's 53. 53, okay. Oh, man. All right. And the person who was closest to the score again was Amari. 66. 66%. One point to Amari. Wow. All right, guys, that concludes round one. Cody, what are the scores after round one? Welcome back for season two, guys. At the end of round one, Amari is in first place with 10 points. In second place, we have Mike, not too far behind, with nine points. In third place, we have John with six points. And at the bottom, with still time to catch up, is Russell with one point. How did round one go for you at home? Let us know down below. Round two, the solo round. Here's how it goes. Each contestant will choose two categories of their choice in this round. Then you're gonna get three questions. If you get your question right without needing multiple choice, you get two points. And if you do choose multiple choice in this round, if you get it right, the point goes down to one point. However, if you get your question incorrect, then you have to choose one of your opponents to steal the question. And the same point value applies to the stealer. Keep in mind, after you choose a category in round two, that category that category's off the board till the next round. So choose wisely. And you'll have 15 seconds to answer your question in this round. And the person with the least amount of points at the end will be the first rotten contestant. Russell, since you have the least amount of points, you get to go first in round two. So Russell, choose your first category of choice. I'm gonna go with Oliver Stone. Oliver Stone movies. Oliver Stone. All right. All right, Russell, first question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Wall Street? Let me, can I get the multiple choice on that? Yep. Is it JFK? Oh, sorry. Wrong question. 56%, 78%, 71%, or 82%? The first Wall Street. Let me hear it one more time, sorry. Yep. 56, 78, 71, or 82? We got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm going to get 71, C. C is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal, Russell? Let's go with uh, John, the one has the least. Yeah, let's go, John. All right, John, this is a one point steal. Um, do I have to write it down? No, you don't have to write it down. Uh, 78? That is correct. One point steal to John. <coughs> Russell, what is the Rotten Tomato score for natural born killers? 46. That is correct. Two points. All right, Russell, which of Oliver Stone's directed movies is his highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Four on the 4th of July. 90%. That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Four on the 4th of July. Okay, uh, let me go John. John, two point steal. And I can't go multiple choice, right? Nope, you cannot. Um, Salvador? That is correct. Two point steal. 92%. That's why. Born on the 4th of July was a 90%. All right, John, choose your first category in round two. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Will Ferrell movies. All right, Will Ferrell movies. Two special categories out of the way. Here we go, John. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for Megamind 2010? 72%. That is correct. Two points. All right, John, what is Will Ferrell's third highest rated movie on Rotten Tomatoes? Damn. Um, I'm going to go 
Five, four, three, two, one. Multiple choice. One. Multiple choice. Is it Elf, Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues, Everything Must Go, or The Other Guys? Damn it, I should have gone. Uh, the Other Guys. That is correct. One point. 78%. And finally, John, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Winter Passin 2006? Winter Passin. I don't need multiple choice. Is it 41%, 52%, 40%, or 64%? Uh, gonna go with A. A is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal, John? Um, Russell. Russell, this is a one point steal. Uh, let me hear the uh, options again, real quick. Yep, 41, 52, 40, or 64. I'm gonna go with 52, B. That is also incorrect. It was 40, C. C. All right, up next is Mike. Mike, choose your first category. I'm going to go with Westerns. Westerns. New wow. Game. Westerns. Westerns. All right, Mike, what is the Rotten Tomato score for The Outlaw, Josie Wales, 1976? Five. I'm multiple choice. Three. Multiple choice. Is it 95%, 84%, 89%, or 97%? Can I hear those options again? 95, 84, 89, or 97? Five. A95. Four. That is correct. One point. Mike, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Dances with Wolves, 1990? 82? 82 is correct! Two points! And finally, Mike, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Bad Girls, 1994? Bad Girls. I'm going to need multiple choice for that one. For sure. All right. Is it 18%, 12%, 9%, or 5%? <laughs> Let's go 9. 5, 4, C, nine. 9 is correct. One point. One point for Mike. All right. Up next is Amari. Amari, choose your first category. I will have to go with... I guess comic book movies. Comic book movies and graphic novels. Here we go. All right, Amari, first question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Sin City 2005? 77? 77? 5, 4, 3, 2, 77. 77. That is correct! Two points! Amari. Alright, Amari, which film in the DCEU has the third highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Uh, Wonder Woman. That is incorrect. Who you choose to steal? Oh. I choose to steal from Mike. <laughs> Alright, Mike, this is a two point steal. Two point steal. Third highest, you said? Third highest. Third highest. Uh, I Five, say Justice four. League. Justice League is correct. Two point steal. 40%. Wonder Woman's 92%. And finally, Amari, what is the Rotten Tomato score for The Punisher 1989? Oh my god. Oh. Probably, I'm guessing, I'm going to guess 89, 89%. 89 is incorrect. Who do you choose uh, to steal? Uh, Russell. Russell, this is a two-point steal. And gives me no options, great. Uh, 89, <laughs> Dolph, Dolph Lundgren, man, that movie got to be bad. Uh, I'm going to go 37%. 
37 is incorrect. Uh, Russell, you were a little over, but it's 28%. I knew it wasn't good. 28. Yeah. All right. Now we bounce it back to Russell. Choose your final category, Russell. Uh, let me do new releases. New releases. New releases. All right, Russell. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Detroit? Any multiple choice on this one. All right, is it 78%, 88%, 91%, or 84%? First thing that stuck out, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go 78%. 78 is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, let's go John. John, this is a one point <laughs> steal. Can I get the options again? Yep, is it 78, 88, 91, or 84? Five, four, three, 84. two. 84 is correct, one point steal to John. <laughs> Nicely done. Russell, what is the Rotten Tomato score for the Lego Ninjago movie? Can you get a multiple choice on that again? All right, is it 45%, 53%, 59%, or 40%? Let me hear the options Five, one more time, sorry. Yep, 45, 53, 59, 40. Five, four, three. 53. 53 is correct. One point to oh. Russell. Whew. About time, Whew. Russell, your next question is a lucky category. Now, you may be asking what a lucky category is. Guys, a lucky category is a new concept we're introducing for Season 2. If you land on a lucky category question, lucky categories fall in 2 out of the 12 movie categories for Rotten or Fresh. And how a lucky category works is we're going to give you the multiple choice for that question. And all you have to do is answer the question correctly. If you do, you get two points. If you don't, it's gone. Nobody gets a steal opportunity for a lucky category. All right, Russell, you have to answer this right. If you don't, then it's gone. Russell, which of these October releases has the lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Is it Geostorm, Jigsaw, The Snowman, or Suburbicon? It's got to be the snowman. Snowman. And he is correct. Obviously, it's the snowman. 7%. Seven percent. Seven percent. All right. The steaming pile of, the steaming steaming pile pile of, of dog, dog shit. Up, uh, next, up next is John. Choose your final category. Um, Let's go animated. Is that still available? Yep, it is. Animated movies. All right. Animated movies. All right, John, what is the Rotten Tomato score for the Iron Giant? Multiple choice. Is it 92%, 96%, 98%, or 94%? 94%? That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, let's go with Russell. Russell, this is a one-point steal. I'm going to go, uh, let me hear the options again real fast. Yep, 92, 96, 98, 94. 5, 4, 3, go 94. 2, 1. That is incorrect. It is 96% B. All right, John. John, once again, you hit a lucky category question. You know how it goes. Got to get it right or else it's gone. John, out of these DreamWorks movies, which film is not over a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes? Chicken Run, Ants, Shrek, or How to Train Your Dragon? I'm going to go with Shrek. That is correct. 88%. That is correct. Wow. John, your final question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Cars 2? Uh, multiple choice. Is it 43%, 26%, 39%, or 32%? 
Can I hear him one more time, please? Yep. 43, 26, 39, or 32? 5, 39%. That is correct. One point. All right, now, Mike, choose your final category. Uh, I'm going to go comic book movies. That is already taken, Mike. Oh, yeah. Choose so. your final category. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will do uh, action adventure. Action adventure. Thought it would go sci fi. All right, Mike, action adventure. Mike, what is the Rotten Tomato score for The Life of Pi? Oh. 2012. I'm unfortunately going to need multiple choice on that. <clears throat> All right. Is it 81%, 92%, 84%, or 87%? I'm going to go 92%. That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, let's go Russell. Thanks, All right, guys. Russell. <laughs> one point steal. I'm going to go 87%. Hey, that's correct. There One point steal for Russell. Make a comeback. All right. You know it. Mike, which of the King Kong movies, hey, nice poster, <laughs> has an 84% on Rotten Tomatoes? An 84. I'm going to say the, the 2005 King Kong. That is exactly. correct. <laughs> two points. Yes, two points. And finally... Mike, what is the Rotten Tomatoes score for Battlefield Earth 2000? Oh. Oh. I, I need multiple choice. All right, is it 3%, 9%, 16%, 16% and 11%? Oh, man. Uh. <laughs> Five, four, three, D11. two, one. That is incorrect. Yeah. Who do you choose to steal? I'll go Russell again. All right, Russell. Let me hear, let me hear those options again real fast. Yep, three, nine, 16, Man. 11, five. I'm gonna go 3%. That is correct, one point steal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was being thought, nice. Yeah. All right. I it couldn't be true. Amari, you're our last person. Choose your final category. Okay, I guess I'll pick comedy, comedy. 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 Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Alright. Amari, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Animal House? 1978. Uh, can I National get Lampoon's Animal House. Can I get it? Uh, multiple, multiple choice. Yeah. 91, 87, 94, or 82? Probably 94. 94. That is incorrect. Who you choose to steal? Uh, I guess I can pick John. All right, John, one point steal. Could I get the choices again, please? Yes, 91, 87, 94, 82. 82 percent? That is incorrect. It is 91 percent. Damn it. Amari, what is the Rotten Tomato score for 22 Jump Street? Uh, can you repeat that again, please? Yep. What is the Rotten Tomato score for 22 Jump Street? Oh. Multiple, Five, multiple choice. Four. All right. Is it 84%, 90%, 86%, 93%? Uh, I'm going to go with 86. Five. I said 86. Four. 86. Three. That 86. is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, Russell. Russell, uh, one point steal. Can I hear the options one more time? 84, 90, 86, 93. Uh, the first, what was the first one? Uh, 84. We'll do 84. That is correct. One point steal. And Amari, last question. Which film in the Police Academy franchise has the second highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Can I get multiple choice? Because I have not seen that. <laughs> All right, Amari, is it A, Police Academy 5, Assignment Miami Beach, B, Police Academy 3, Back in Training, C, Police Academy 2, The First Contact, or D, Police Academy? Uh, probably A. A. Amari, that is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, I pick Mike. I pick Mike. 
Mike, Mike, one point steal. And what was the score again? Or the third? What was the question? I'm sorry. Which film in the Police Academy franchise is the second highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? A. Police Academy 5, Assignment Miami Beach, Police Academy 3, Back in Training, Police Academy 2, The First Contact, or D. Police Academy? I'm going to say B. Back, back in Training? That is correct. One point. All right, that concludes round two. Cody, give us the scores after round two. At the end of round two, Mike jumps up to first place with 18 points. In second place, John bumps up with 16 points. In third place, we have Amari with 12 points. And unfortunately, only with nine points at the end of round two. It's not enough to go on for Russell, making him our first Rotten contestant of season two. Um, I had a good time. Um, this is different from uh, movie-based trivia, which I'm used to. This is a different arena, uh, knowing percentages and stuff like that. Um, the guys just knew a little bit more than I did, and by the time I was trying to build a comeback, it was too late. So uh, hats off to those guys for sure. How are you guys liking the show so far? Let us know down below. Round three, the list in round. And it works as follows. List as many movies as you can related to the question. It could be an actor, an actress, a director, or a movie franchise. All you have to do is list as many movies as you can. You'll have 30 seconds to write as many movies as possible, and each correct answer is worth one point. And the contestant with the least amount of points at the end of this round will be the second rotten contestant, and also write all of your answers with a piece of paper or dry erase board, and of course, show all of your answers and repeat them one by one to the camera in front of you. List as many films as you can, 80% and above on Rotten Tomatoes, Featuring the actor, Morgan Freeman. My name is Morgan Freeman. Uh, Morgan Freeman. Gotta love this guy. Five, four, three, oh, two... One, and pens down, stop. All right, we are going to start off with Amari. Amari, what did you write down, man? Uh, I only came up with two because uh, the only thing I had was Tetsu and the upcoming movie Nutcracker and the Four Realms. Nutcracker, and, Nutcracker and Ted 2. I'm sorry, Amari, none of those movies are on the list. So, no points to Amari. Uh, Alright, up next is John. John, what do you have? Um, so, I put Bruce Almighty, which I don't think is the one. <laughs> um, the Shawshank Redemption. Yep. And um, Driving Miss Daisy. Yep, that is two correct answers for John. Fortunately, Bruce Almighty is not on there. <laughs> <laughs> Two points. <laughs> All right. And finally, Mike, what did you come up with? I have the Shawshank Redemption. Yep. <laughs> and he only does a voiceover, but War of the Worlds. Unfortunately, narration does not count. I only I only can give you one point, Mike, for... Uh, okay. For... Uh, the Shawshank Redemption. So one point to Mike. Wow, no Dark Knight trilogy. All right, that oh, concludes oh round God. three. <laughs> the Lego yeah. Movie. All right, that con that concludes round. That concludes round three. Cody, what are the scores after round three? And after a very quick round three, Mike maintains his lead with 19 points. And in second place, we have John with 18 points. And unfortunately, with no points gained at the end of round three, Amari, with 12 points, becomes our second Rotten contestant. Well, I honestly got the... Uh, I, I played fair, and I had a fun time doing it. And also, I got to meet other YouTubers as well while playing while playing Rotten or Fresh. So that, that was the best fun I ever had. Could any of you at home think of any more Morgan Freeman movies?
let us know down below. Round four, the higher or lower round, John from The Real Talk and Mike from Married Movie Reviews are in the finals. Here's round four. In this round, you're going to choose three numbers between 1 through 12, and those correspond to different point values. Your first question worth one point, your second question's worth three points, and your final question's worth the big five points. And after that, you're going to get a movie. All 12 of the movie categories are randomized, and whatever number you choose is going to be that category. All you have to do is, I'm going to say a score, you have to guess if that score is higher or lower than the actual Rotten Tomatoes score. And at the end, the person with the most points wins, and we will have sudden death if necessary or TKO if there's no way for a competitor to come back. Mike, since you have more points than John, you get to pick your three numbers first. So Mike, choose three numbers between 1 through 12. I'm going to go 4, 7, and 9. 4, 7, 9. Alright, John, choose your three numbers. Um... One, five, and ten. One, five, and ten. All right, John, you're going to go first since you're one point behind. So we'll start with your one point question. So, John, the first number you chose was number one. That corresponds to the category of horror movies. Horror uh. movies. And your movie is your next 2013. 72% John. Higher or lower? Higher. That is correct. One point to John. 76% was the score. Alright, now we bounce it over to Mike for his one point question. Mike, the first number you chose was number four. That corresponds to the category of romantic comedies. God. Romantic <laughs> comedies. <laughs> your, mov your movie is, Mike, Say Anything, 1989. 88%, Mike, higher or lower? Lower. <clears throat> that is incorrect. Uh. Higher. 98 percent wow. higher wow very good underrated wow. cam and crow movie all right gotta see that <laughs> now we got yeah it's a really that. good movie love it all right mike now bounce it over to your three-point question you have to hit this so we can bounce it over to john to answer his three-point question so mike the third number you chose was number seven that corresponds to the category of Oliver Stone movies. Oliver Stone. Okay. All right. Your movie is, Mike, The Hand, 1981. 11%, Mike, higher or lower? <clears throat> Pretty sure it's higher. He's back, guys. It's correct. 14% higher 14% was the score welcome back Mike welcome back all right <laughs> we both so now we bounce it back to John for his three-point question John the second number you chose was number five that corresponds to the category of sports movies sports movies right. your movie is the rookie 2012 the Rookie, 2002. 85%, John. Higher or lower? I'm going to say lower. That is correct. By one goddamn percent wow. below. Wow. 84 percent wow. was the score. <laughs> one Three points to goddamn John. percent. And now we bounce it to Mike. He's got to answer his five point question. And Mike's got to hit this so we can bounce it back to John right here. 
It's a tie game, ladies and gentlemen. Tie game. So, Mike, let's get to your five-point question. Let's do it. So, Mike, your last number you chose was number nine. That corresponds to the category of action-adventure. Action-adventure. Your movie is First Blood. Rambo First Blood. 1982. 87%, Mike. Higher or lower? I sure hope it's higher. Mike? Yeah? That is correct! <laughs> yeah. Higher! It changed today! One goddamn percent higher! Wow. 88%! I was thought it would be higher. I thought it would be higher. Like that nice. changed today. Yeah, it was 87 too. and then to 88. Wow. 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 Oh, man. All right. And now the pressure is on John. John oh. has to answer <laughs> his five-point question. John, if you hit your five-point question, you tie it up with Mike, and we go to sudden death. If you don't hit it, then Mike becomes the winner. Of season two, episode one. So, John, are you ready to go? All right. Yes. John, your final number you chose was number 10. That corresponds to the category of animated movies. Animated Sorry. movies. Okay, animated? Okay. Your movie is Shark Tale 2004. 30%, John. Higher or lower? Uh, I'm gonna have to say higher. John, you are correct! Higher! Wow. 35% was the score. Damn. Sudden death is wow. here. Sudden death, wow. Mike and mess. John. Here what we go. I'm shaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of round four, you guys see this is a very close match. Both Mike and John have 27 points. We're going to sudden death, guys. Ryan, take it away. Mike from Married Movie Reviews and John from The Real Talk both are tied with 27 points apiece and we're here in Sudden Death. Here's how Sudden Death works. It's the same format as round one. One of you guys we're, are gonna pick a number between one through five. We will determine that through coin toss and whatever number it gets chosen it is the movie. The person who gets the exact score gets two points. Whoever's closest to the score without going over will get one point. The first person to score wins the game. If one person gets a score, the other gets it incorrect, that person wins the game. Or if you both get it correct, then we'll go to the next question. All right, John, heads or tails? Uh, heads. Heads. Cody's flipping. <laughs> it is tails. It is tails. So, Mike... Yep, he gets to choose Mike, between one through five. Mike, choose a number between one through five. I'm going to go four again. He's going to go four. All right, guys. Your category first for sudden death is going to be comedy. Comedy. Oh, your oh. movie is Neighbors 2014. What is the score? Five, four... Three, two, one, stop. All right, John, what do you have? Uh, I put 80. Mike, what do you have? It's hard to read, but I put 67. All right. We have a winner. The person who was closest to the score without going over was Mike. Mike was the closest to the score without going over. 73% was the actual score. Mike, you are the first winner of Season 2, Episode 1 of Rotten and Fresh. Congratulations to Mike 
That was amazing match right there. Wow. John, hats off to you, man. You came in here blazing, man. In round two, you just began to skyrocket, man. First of all, just give me your final overall thoughts, John, on how the game went. Well, to be honest, this came down to, you know, the nitty-gritty, guys. This for last questions, last points, and I had a blast. Um, that's all I hoped, you know, to come in here and have fun with these guys, meet some new uh, people as well. So thank you guys again, and uh, I, I had fun, guys. All right, and finally, Mike, man. Finally, you've been playing along to the show, showing your dedication. You didn't study at all, didn't do very well in your play along. But now, having studied, and you came in here guns blazing, man. Hats off to you. Give me your final overall thoughts, dude. Oh, man, this was so fun. And going in as win or lose, I just wanted to have fun and hang out with you guys. And I, I did not expect to <laughs> get even to the final round. I thought I'd be out before the listing round. Um, or that one would at least get me out because that's my Achilles heel. But, oh my goodness, this was so fun. And I was just really happy to meet all of you guys. Everyone is a great competitor. My goodness, there was a lot of points scored in this game. Yeah, that completely surprised me. Everybody came prepared, man. This was a great game. All of you guys deserve hats off. Let us know down below in the comment section, guys, how unpredictable this match was. Who did you have winning this episode? Give us your final overall thoughts, how it went down below in the comments. And thank you all four of you guys for competing and showing your love for this game. I mean, this has just been a great idea and you guys are all amazing. And I want to give all four of you guys a chance to shout out your social media pages. Russell, where can we find you? You guys can find me on YouTube at House Hollywood Reviews. Uh, I also do Stardust and Letterbox, everything HH Wood Reviews. Uh, yeah, so check it out. Amari, where can we find you? Through my YouTube, Amari Points. It's my first and last name. I do movie reviews. A lot of Q&As and the latest movie news. John, where can we find you at? All right, guys, you guys can find me at The Real Talk, Talk with 2Ks on Instagram and Twitter. And I also have a Stardust account. You guys can find me there uh, just at The Real Talk, Talk with 1K. And again, Ryan and Cody, thank you so much for having me on. I had a blast. And congrats, Mike. You, you deserved it, man. No problem, man. And finally, Mike the Champion, where can we find you at? You can find me at Married Movie Reviews on YouTube. Me and my wife do a lot of movie reviews. Uh, we do listing videos. I break down trailers as well. You can find me on Twitter at Married Review. And uh, again, this is a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you guys, as always, for watching the Rotten or Fresh. And as always, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe today. Go subscribe to all four of these guys right now because they have great channels. As always, all my social media links are in the description down below. Click that notification bell on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!